So when we bought this property, most of this field looked like this. Used to be alfalfa in it, and it wasn't planted, watered for like six, five, six years. It's pretty much abandoned. Um, and so, what I've been doing is, and what I need to do on this side is to cultivate it, maybe use a rotivator and get all the ground is super hard, get it all soft and plant something. But on this side I've planted pasture grass with buckwheat, with yellow clover and let's see. Well, you can see the things coming up. And you can see different grasses. I can see buckwheat. Not as much here, but up there, there is. I'm gonna go walk all the way back and check the irrigation coming out. I don't see any water flowing. Not sure what happened there. On some of this ground, all the way in the back, I did much deeper flowering. Over here I did not. That's why you can see some old grass. See the new grass sprouting. But I've got to water at least twice a week to keep it nice and growing. So, canal in the back. Water comes over here, goes into this gated pipe. And I had these gates open just enough so we can water. Let's check these gates. Sometimes they get plugged up, still open. Don't have much of a sunset today. Kind of cloudy. I think it's going to get a little cooler and we're going to have some rain. But there's still, still water coming out. Gopher holes have been the worst, the worst thing that's happened. Okay, so I think this part can be watered a little more, so I can close all these holes. Let's come through. Come up this way. Okay, why isn't this working? Okay, there it goes. That's two different types of oh, openers on here. A nice steady flow has been able to accomplish a lot where the ground in between the corrugated lines as much is fully moist in the middle and the crop can grow so if you look the ground is nice and moist and but the water didn't get all the way to the end because of the gopher holes but if you look at the soil that's nice where this is not good. Where the ditch rider, see those flags up there, trying to catch gophers. They're going onto this road.
It is June 1st and Fancy's with me checking our irrigation. She's such a good dog. It's always nice to have her next to me. The field is finally green. The grass came through. I think it was packed too hard so it took a long time for it to come through. It's because first thing I, I went too many times with the tractor on the field using the plow and the culti packer many times to spread all the thick bunches of ground around and make it more flat. Then the bed harrow then I used the culti packer after I've spread the seed. Then I went with the bed harrow again to hide the seed. And then I went um, with a corrugator. And so just too many passes and it took a long time. But finally it came through and it's it's been very exciting because I would be checking on the field and it's like, hey, what's going on? Now it's June 29th and the buckwheat is blossoming. It looks great. There are bees on it. It's very exciting. So in conclusion, several lessons learned. Number one, do not pack the ground too hard. Number two, do not corrugate too deep. Number three, get rid of gophers. Number four, when turning on irrigation water, open up the gates wider at first so the water can run all the way to the end of the field and then close them down to where it's just trickling a little bit. This way you get water run to the end of the field and then you will prevent the water rows from being washed out and made too deep by running water on the high flow for too long. But when you trickle it down it will allow the soil to be to absorb the water and be moist evenly. If you leave it on a small trickle from the beginning, then the water might never reach the end of the field and you will have a dry spot at the end of the field. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.